Hands in my bed, I'm gambling whatever's left. Taking them chances, don't want no regular life. I gotta invest. They say, man, well, not even they say, I know for a fact. Usually a man's downfall is a woman. Man, and it, 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 kinda, Delilah, right? it, it sucks to say because we love women, but it's just like. But also, a man's like up, like if you find the right woman, that can be the best that thing can be for the best you, right? Thing, because it eliminates that time spent wasted trying to, you know, chase but, all these bitches, right? In this generation, how many of the right women you think walking around though? I think, I think we gotta take accountability for that, right? Because it's like it's like <clears throat> like I live my life by a principle which is say everything's my fault, right? Mm -hmm. All the things that I like about my life, it's my fault. All the things that I don't like, it's my fault, right? Right. right. And and I'm all about taking accountability. So collectively as men, I think we just take accountability for the toxic masculine traits that a lot of our women have picked up, picked right? Up. They because we've been on up. some fuck shit, bro. We've been <laughs> toxic, bro. So they that's why definitely I, picked it up. Like they're tired of being emotionally invested in niggas who just fuck, fuck them over, them, right? Yeah. So they like, all right, cool. Now they're saying something about fucking they get some money, right? Or like trying to make it transactional yeah, because yeah, yeah. and it's very niggas, they, they it's, end up they end up they've been fucked over so many it's times. Very so that's become the culture, yeah, right? So. And I think it's like and I think I think it's like it's immature and. uh <clears throat> It's not and not taking accountability for us as men to complain about the toxic masculinity of mm -hmm. women and them not being feminine enough when we haven't led from because in order for the divine masculine and divine feminine to exist, the divine masculine needs to lead the divine feminine, yeah. right? And if the masculine is not leading the feminine, the feminine. in the <laughs> the right way. Of course they're gonna go astray, right? Yeah. They're gonna they gonna go whatever way we led them to. Mm -hmm. We led them to be this way. And they winning, they winning. They out Nah, everyone the problem everyone's losing. Right? I mean everyone's, everyone's losing, losing. But I mean at the level of they're not these women aren't chasing behind men anymore. Yeah, but you know, I think when you when you start like when you take a when you take a mentality of like a transactional mentality of giving your body to a man, right? Yeah. Saying for a purse or whatever the fuck, right? I think that you're basically saying you're worth what this purse, purse costs. costs. And 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 over time, you know, this bag, this, this closet full of bags, right? And those, each one of those bags is attached to a body that you, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, along with it. it's like, damn, is that what I'm worth, mm -hmm. right? I'm not where I want to be. I don't have a husband. I don't have a family. You know what I'm saying? And I think I think that mentality it, it leads to suffering, right? Yeah. On the flip side, for us as men, if we're engaging in that, cause sometimes we do, right? As niggas who have money, it's like I buy you this. It's I like because time, because for me, I, I know I, I'm guilty because I know this. That like my time is more valuable to me than like a thousand dollar bag, right? right? Right. I got a lot of money, right? I don't got a lot of time. So cool. If if if. Instead of giving this bitch all my time, nigga, if, if, if just, I just got a virus bag, that's cheaper. That's cheap. It's less bag. expensive to me. That's what she probably want right that's now That's less anyway. expensive to me than the time, than the right? Time, yeah. Right? And so it's like, so because I chose those easy routes and those easy ways, right, mm -hmm. we, we, it also leads to us feeling, feeling dissatisfied. It can lead to low self-esteem because then you start to think like, damn, like I know I suffered from this. It was like, damn, like, am I not cool? Am I not like a, yeah. like Bitches only want me because of my money, right? Or even not even just bitches, just people in general. In only general, want, yeah. Right, and I had to then come to understand, like, and realize, like, nah, it's two things. One, at the time I was leading with that, right? So if I'm leading with that, of course that's what people they're gonna, gonna see gonna first, right? Them. Yeah. But two, it's not like people are seeing me and be like, I don't fuck with you, mm -hmm. but I fuck with your money. It's that to them, their their own mindset, their own issues. The money is so blindingly bright to them right, right. that they can't even see past it to see you, right? Yeah, yeah. they can't and see so, anything so else. So it's not a thing to take personally. It's not like they saw me and didn't fuck with me. Yeah, they couldn't even see me because the, the money was so the money. bright. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was blinding them to anything else, right? And so once I understood that, it, it made it to where I, I healed from that that feeling of like, it's, damn, it's my only value and what I can bring to the table. Pay is for yeah, right, yeah. like. And for women, like, it, damn, it's like my only value in, like, niggas wanting to fuck me and I can try to get some fucking bags or some whatever fuck. I see women be in relationships, right? And they be like trying to accumulate 
material things from the rich dude that they're with mm -hmm. as a contingency fallout plan, like a parachute for yeah, if yeah, they yeah. break up, break right? Up. Because okay, if we break up and I have this, this, this diamonds and, and this <laughs> purse and this 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 Birkin whatever, for, nigga, I can I could I can survive for a couple months to get mm -hmm. an apartment and shit till I find the next rich nigga. You know what I'm saying? Do and you it's, think it's gonna? So do you see the path getting better or worse? I think we need to be proactive and take accountability and. It's not going to get better unless we are actively working to make, so it, better, make it better, right? Because if we're not actively working to make it better, it ain't going to get better. But even with actively working to make it better, do you still feel like somewhere in women's mind that they're open to, like, changing their mindset from how we have kind of basically programmed them, though? Majority. We have to make up for it, right? It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like when, you, when you break trust with somebody, right? Like... <clears throat> It's a lot harder to rebuild it right. than it is to like you know to initially build it the first time before it's broken, right? And so, like we have to, we it's gonna take it's gonna take a lot of effort and intentional like care to rebuild that bridge, right? That bridge of trust between men and women. Right, right. But I think it's super important because I feel like we as a people are bet we, we are our best when we are in partnerships and dynamics wherein the divine feminine is equally as valued and respected as the divine masculine, masculine right. and that we can play our roles in harmony and raise a family and build and you know like like if i'm if i'm leading my woman correctly and she's raising my kids and mm -hmm. i'm and she's giving me the support i need to go out i'm a man who can conquer the world right yeah. So if you if you take care of me in this way, I'm gonna build. I'm like we're gonna like I'm gonna build us. We're gonna get the world. We're gonna I'm gonna conquer the world. Everything right? we want. Yeah. And so it's like, I think I think it's it's that. And then I think, additionally though, it's like, it's a lot of healing that needs to be done. I think it's generational trauma. It's like, it's people needing to heal and need to become self aware and be willing to acknowledge and surrender their ego. I think mm -hmm. a big part of things like when I look at like my growth in my life, right? I'm the most confident I've ever been in my life, and, but my e and my ego is like the smallest it's ever been, right? Right, right. And and by that I mean like it doesn't influence or impact my decision making process mm -hmm. in the way that it used to, right? Because when people operate from a big their ego is big, it's it's not it doesn't mean they're more confident. It means they're less confident in themselves. Definitely. And, and, they're, and they're more fragile. Their ego's so fragile that it, it You know, I've I've moved off my ego a lot and I've noticed that I, I haven't been actually able to change it because I'm so stuck in my mind, mm. but I know that like my ego plays a big factor in my back, everyday bro. life it's and the like, way that I move. It's like and, and and it comes from our traumas that we haven't resolved, mm -hmm. right? And so it's like I'm a huge advocate for therapy, right? Because it's like when you are able to recognize and acknowledge and start to work on healing yeah. and even be able to just point out or like reckon like so it's like so if I, okay i i know this is a trigger right and even if it still might trigger me sometimes i know where it's coming from no and so because of that i'm not just reacting in a way that i don't understand i understand yeah. and so i'm able to have more control over it right mm -hmm. and so i think like when we do that I think that's where we lead to a good path, right? And I think, um, I think it's it's going to be a group effort, right? So men and women are going to have to like, ultimately take a look at it and realize, like, are are either of us happy with how with it how, is? How things right? are going? Like, yeah. I don't think a lot of people are, right? I don't like, think so either. It's just I don't see people. Being... It really hurts me a lot to just because I'm a lover boy. I'm all for love. I just yeah. want to be in love. I think most of us are, right? right. Like, like, there's some people who are, like, fucked up people, right? But right. most of us really want that. that. Like, but we've been through so much traumatic shit, and we've been treated a certain way by people and whatever. All mm -hmm. those experiences have, like, piled on each other to where it makes it so now we're, like, unable to be that because be we're that. so guarded, right? Guard, yeah, yeah. And it's like, and, and I find out, like, women, I'll talk to women, right? And they'll tell me they want, you know, like, like they'll they'll be telling you what they want. You know they're looking for a man, basically looking for a a, a man who, who's able to lead from his healthy divine yeah, yeah. masculine, right? And oftentimes what I ask them is like, if you meet such a man, are you able to one, are you able to identify mm -hmm. that, and two, are you able to surrender your 
because right now you've been operating out of survival instinct and you've been operating in a masculine way, right? Mm -hmm. Are you able to lower that masculine shield and allow him to lead? Yeah. Or are you gonna have a hard time and resist? All in, I'm placing my bed. I'm gambling whatever's left. Taking them chances. Don't want no regular life. I gotta invest.